Okay, five books that made me who I am today. First of all, if you are even this much bit a uh, fan of the channel, you know that reading is something that I preach all the time, something that I tell you guys to do all the time, every single day, because it is one of the main habits of self-improvement. I talk about these four habits all the time, which are journaling, exercising, meditation, and reading, and reading is one of those four main basis self-improvement habits that you should be doing every single freaking day. Thanks to my parents, who are both teachers, I was a bookworm when I was a little kid. I would read so many Many books that right now we are trying to give them away to friends and family to neighbors because I just read so many books when I was a little kid however constitutional learning actually killed my will to read I loved reading but they made it a chore that I had to do instead of I wanted to do so throughout the beginning of my high school journey I didn't really read much except the books that school actually forced me to read after I got into self-improvement however I realized the importance of learning and reading and that made me fell in love with reading again by then I was reading mostly self improvement books, books about habits, about uh, uh, overcoming procrastination, uh, productivity, deep work, and all those different really, really important topics. So in this video, I'm going to share five books of five different categories in self-improvement that made me who I am today. So we're going to have one book for each category. And let's get started with the category communication, which I have this book right here, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And this is the Turkish version of that book. And the Turkish title is Dost Kazanma Ve İnsanlara Etkilme Sanatı, but you probably didn't understand that if you're not Turkish. I have read this book once uh, in my life and the thing is this summer I'm planning to read it again for the second time because I think it's really really valuable Bro, I'm gonna be completely honest with you when I got into high school when, at the age of like 14 I had literally zero confidence I was a nerd when I had a crush on a girl there was no option, no possibility, no probability of me speaking to her. No freaking way. Even just raising my hand in the class and just getting the, like, being able to speak in front of the class, that was even so freaking hard because I just had no confidence. And this book, this book right here, How to Win Friends and Influence People, is gonna teach you exactly how you can build that confidence and become the popular guy or gal in that tribe friend group. I promise you, when you learn exactly how you can be the popular guy in your friend circle, how you can be the leader, how you can navigate social situations because of the fact that you have now social skills after you read this book and practice it and after you essentially improve your social skills I promise you I promise you your life is gonna be 10 times better now you have girls interested in you now you have people who people want to hang out with you because you are a fun person you are fun to be around you know how you can impact people that's why you need to master social skills but the thing is I'm definitely not the best at social skills I don't think I'm really really really good so this summer I'm planning to do some really uncomfortable at the same time really exciting things maybe we can do some cold approaches on this channel so that might be fun but the thing is getting out of your comfort zone building your social skills is really the number one thing you should be doing definitely read this book how to win friends and uh, influence people by Dale Carnegie definitely this will crack my top three of all time when it comes to self-improvement books and then the second category that we're gonna be talking about is going to be essentially success and the book that I'm gonna be recommending to you is gonna be if I can pull it out don't, don't understand that wrong, please. It's gonna be Grit by Angela Duckworth. And the premise of this book basically says that the determining factor when it comes to success is not IQ, it's not EQ, it is basically grit. Grit is basically your will to succeed. How much you wanna get back up again and again after defeat. You show grit when you continue to study even though you might be getting bad grades. You show grit when you still go to the gym every single freaking day. It doesn't matter if you're seeing results or not. You show grit when you are still in self-improvement putting in the four habits of self-improvement for main habits even though you know that you're not going to be seeing results in the first month or the second month. You show grit when you are building an amazing future for yourself while the same people who are your age are jerking off, playing video games, or hanging out on social media all day long. That is grit. Remember when I told you that life, life is a marathon, not a sprint? So grit is basically having stamina to play the long game. You're not going to be able to build your perfect 10 out of 10 body in just 10 workouts. You're not going to be able to build that confidence you always wanted to have just speaking to one girl. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of determination. If you can fall in love with the process that is going to take you to that destination, that is going to be literally so incredible. If you fall in love with the uncomfortable moment that is before you speak to someone else, that's how you're gonna get confident. If you fall in love with the gym, if you fall in love not with the destination, with the perfect body, if you can fall in love with the process, if you can fall in love with exercising, you're definitely gonna have that perfect body you want. It doesn't matter how many times you failed. 
what matters is you come back again and again. And this book, Grit, even though it's a really, really long book, shows you exactly how you can do that. Thanks for my friends at Shortform for sponsoring this video. Shortform is basically books on steroids. Uh, and the thing is, they have like summaries or really, really nice, well-made summaries for thousands of books, including topics like self-improvement, business, lifestyle, entrepreneurship, communication, and so much more. Like all these books are books that you can read their uh, like summaries on short form. They provide you with really, really detailed, well-made summaries that you can read in like 15, 20 minutes uh, that are really valuable to you. The thing is like I use short form every single day in my, sometimes my morning routine when I don't have the time in my evening routine every single day around like 25 to 30 minutes. And here are essentially three books that I recommend you to check out on short form. The first one is again, uh, the four hour workweek by Tim Ferriss. You should definitely check that out. The second one is Elon Musk's biography uh, from uh, by essentially Ashley Benz, Bons, Baines. I don't know how her uh, surname is pronounced to be honest. And the third book is Obstacles Away by Ryan Holiday. Except the third one, the first two I have never read yet, but I read the summaries already on short form. That's why I really recommend you to check it out. If you can use the link in the description or uh, shortform.com slash Ahmed, you're gonna get uh, more than 100 bucks saved for you, which is like an offer an entire year. I use personally short form. Five out of five stars, definitely a great brand you can check out. So the next category that we're gonna be talking about is essentially habits. And you probably know the book that I'm gonna be recommending to you, which is Atomic Habits. This book right here is my go-to book when I, for example, talk about self-improvement to my friends. If there's a friend that I know that might be getting on self-improvement, that might like start meditating, start exercising, I give them this book right here because this is a truly a great, like the first level of self-improvement. Atomic Habits, this book talks about how little changes you can make throughout the day can have and a substantial amount of results in the future. The literally smallest changes you can make in your days can make a big, big difference. For example, these small things can be you meditate five minutes a day, you journal like 10, pa 10, no, 10 pages, sorry, 10 sentences a day. These small little things are going to make a big impact over time. And this book right here, Atomic Habits, teaches you exactly how you can build a good habit journaling or how you can break a bad one playing video games with simple steps. I, If I remember correctly, the four steps of habit change that James Clear, the author of the book Atomic Habits, talks about are one, make it uh, obvious, two, make it attractive, three, make it easy, and four, make it satisfying. Hell yeah, man, I remember them all correctly. <laughs> well, I read this book twice, so I think I should remember them. The next category is productivity, and the book that I picked for the category productivity is The Deep Work by Carl Newport. This is, again, the Turkish version, and unfortunately, it doesn't look similar to the English, like, American version of it, uh, so you might think that this is actually not it, but if you can translate it on Google Translate, it's gonna say that pretty cut is basically, like, deep work, deep focused. If you know my daily routine at all, you know that every single morning, doesn't matter which day it is, I essentially prioritize at least two hours of deep work every single day. And what is deep work? Deep work is basically an uninterrupted focus and focused, incredibly focused amount of time where you essentially focus on the just most important things and one thing and one thing only at a time. I generally like to do my deep uh, works essentially right after my morning routine, after I wake up. That is the time where I have the, my best cognitive focusing abilities. And the thing is, this book right here is going to teach you exactly how you can and regain the lost skill of 21st century, which is focus. Look, I promise you one thing. If you can focus on one task with your 100% cognitive focusing abilities, you can probably get like four hours worth of work in just two hours. And that means you're gonna be like two times more effective. I learned exactly how I can plan my deep works. I learned exactly how I should be structuring my deep works, how I can execute on them, and everything about focus from this book right here from Carl Newport. And this author, Carl Newport, has also another book about digital minimalism. You probably heard about digital minimalism from self improvement on YouTube. That's also a great book to check out. So this is my this is my this is my recommendation for productivity. And the last category that we have essentially here is entrepreneurship, or you can call it like personal finance. And the book that I recommendation that I have here is. As you can see, this is Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I'm gonna be honest with you, when I started my journey on self-improvement, I didn't really read books like at all about personal finance, entrepreneurship, business, and those type of things. Well, uh, the th topics that I read were basically habits, productivity, um, how to overcome procrastination, and those sort of topics, which were already really, really good, but I feel like I am at a level in my personal improvement, self-improvement journey, where I don't really have to read those books anymore, but I should focus on my craft, which is my personal opinion, entrepreneurship. 
As you guys know, I'm probably gonna be, not probably, that's my goal, to make it online, to be an entrepreneur, full-time entrepreneur through this channel in the future, and that is my goal. And in order for me to get to that goal, I need to build my skills, build the skills that are needed to make it online, or sharpen the ones that I already had in the back. Uh, and the personal finance, entrepreneurship, like business, sales, like all these things are new to me, and I've been making money online for like three, four, five months maybe, maybe half a year longest. That's why I'm reading these type of books to essentially sharpen me, to, to teach me new skills. And Rich Dad Poor Dad is one of the first finance books I've ever read in my entire life, and it taught me a lot about the differences between the rich and the poor, not just when it comes to like the rich uh, drives in this car and the poor drives in this car. It basically taught me the mindsets when it comes to money, how the rich spends his money, how the poor spends his money, so that you can be the rich from the rich category, because that's obvious, like everyone wants to be in that category. Reading is extremely important, and if you don't do it, I don't know why you are watching my channel like at all. This is the basic part, like the basis of self-improvement. So if you want to learn about the three principles of self-improvement that I talked about in my last video, check this video out right here, and I'll see you guys there.